pedals here. I just kind of want to show you a project I've been working on. It's basically going to be a, uh, a PvP Minecraft map, sort of inspired by the facing worlds that um, Shin of the Oxcast made, but more medieval. And the real similarity is mainly the uh, two bases and this floating platform that I had to make in World Edit, which took a while. Now, obviously, this side's a little bigger. But basically, the point of this map is you have two teams. You have, obviously, the good team and the evil team. And here's the good castle. Kind of a... Three kind of randomly placed spires with a central one. Flags flying in the wind. And the uh, for the evil castle, I went with a almost more industrial look. It's all cobblestone and... Ooh, iron bars and this one's a little less complete but this this I think is my favorite part to enter it you gotta pass through a skull or any yeah, skull a yeah, demon's mouth and basically if we fly over here I can show you the best example here there's two levers placed on the uh, gold blocks here Ooh. and what you have to do is both teams have to find levers designated for the opposing team's base and there's going to be two, and you have to pull both of them, and then you're inside. And all the while, obviously, you'll be fighting. And the inside's not complete, but this is kind of the skeleton, with mainly just the stairs built. And then they'll have to fight their way up through the castle, in the second floor, up again, and oh, up one more time, fight their way around here. And grab the flag. Basically, you'd have to uh, punch the flag. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. You have to punch the flag. Try and carry it all the way back to your base. Not an easy task at all. And so, this is kind of... It's still in construction. It's been taking me a bit to do... Um, I would have done more in process, but, or I mean, more of a, more parts to it, but like, I would have started off with just a thing and showcased it as each part was built, but that, I made this, I started this quite a while ago and kind of stopped, but yeah, um, okay, well, I, I know I already just kind of went through here, but basically the good team would, um, sort of start, or, yeah, they would sort of start in here. I gotta figure out a way that they would get out. But they would use these sort of areas here. This kind of catwalk. There's an observation deck over here. That's not as important, but over here you can access the two towers. Unfurnished mostly, but so you get on this arm and you can see so you could uh probably should have the setup, but get shoot arrows down at people below you and all that sort of crazy stuff. Whoop. If you come over to the second tower. Second tower is mainly for show. There will probably be something of value in there. I don't know. Or I might have three flags located throughout the towers. And there will probably be a flag in the first in the main room. Flag in the, in the second that tower over there. And then obviously the top flag. Um, okay. So this is the good side. The good side is much more done than the uh, evil side. But... I'll give you a brief tour of um what's going on over there. And yeah, yeah, so if even one of these is impressed. There. I don't know if the levers will be hidden in chests or they'll be in a specific spot, like they'll be four placed here, but then again you could take them on your own team, or th you'll spawn with them, say in here, like in your own base, and people will be designated like lever carriers. Little um, it's very hollow in here, but it will have obviously more floors so that it's pretty equal with the uh, other. And if you come out here, there's a side kind of, you know, what do you want to call it? A battlement, as well as another side battlement. And there'll probably be a cat, I think I'm, I think I'm catwalk between these and the other side battlement, or I mean the front battlement. And it's the same thing around the corner. Right over there. 
And if I were to do the three flags, it would probably be one obviously in here, and then I'm thinking maybe one in each side post, or in probably yeah, probably that. Okay. And then I, th I think I might actually make several, I'm thinking of doing several versions with like several different downloads of different game modes, or if I could rig up some command blocks, though I'm not the world's greatest command block user, sorry, um, have like, you can preset the game mode when you start, I'm probably thinking either classes, or there'll be a survival, or a scavenger sort of mode, like I said, there'll, there'll be like four different downloads for just like different modes that would be kind of cool. Um, scavenger mode where the loot would be on the ground, hidden in places. Um, yeah. Basically, this is, this is right now, this is, I, I'm going to call it basically a skeleton. Meaning everything's pretty open, there isn't, there's a whole lot of room for change and for new ideas and for everything. Um, also, down here, this was just... To add a bit more like decoration because these towers are gonna have floors some of them are un are inaccessible but the way I did this walkway and that I wanted this battlement over here to be a lot lower than that one um kind of left open space that would have looked bad if I had just covered it so I put sort of a thing here and there's a separate sort of almost secretive battlements that you can fight through the glass and like a sort of library study area and then obviously a ladder back up so you're not trapped forever down there Alright, well, I know this has been a short video, but things I'm thinking of doing for future updates are, I'm keeping, I'm probably going to keep the mushrooms over there, but if you have better ideas of what I can put over there, because I tried other kinds of trees, and spruce trees looked okay, but they didn't look evil enough, so I tried to go with the whole mushroom infested landscape sort of thing, like it's being poisoned almost by the, the power of this evil force over here. And then trees and this cool arch thing just add a bit of change. I'm probably going to add a couple random buildings, maybe like a building there, some sort of structure there, maybe even like um, a couple random islands out here, either for decoration or even strategic purposes or even for other game modes. I don't know. Like I said, everything's pretty, pretty up for change right about now. Oh, I might, no, nah, that might be a pain in the ass if I put one of the uh, flags up there. I don't know. But yeah, so, and then here's obviously the top tower of the evil force, fortress. But yeah, so, um, let me know what you think. If you, I'm going to probably continue this project. I'll keep you up to date with it. Oh, there's an anvil over there. <laughs> I don't know why there's an anvil over here, actually, but. Oh, I was doing something stupid where I was, like, spawning monsters on the other edge and making them fall and swimming in the water. So, something fun like that. It was kind of... But, yeah. And I'm keeping the water down here because if you fall, I think it's your fault. And you're, it's, it's not, you're not, like, dead because that kind of almost defeats the purpose. But you're, like, penalized, meaning you got to get all the way back up. Or there'll be, like, a teleporter that takes, like, ten seconds or something. I don't know. But yeah, and over, oh, over here, um, I believe it's ferns. Yeah, ferns on the ground rather than long grass and flowers on the good side so you pick your side and do battle basically yeah so um thoughts comments ideas everything's appreciated oh one last thing just because i thought this would be cool my sort of plan especially when it comes to like when you get out onto the balconies and definitely over on that side more would be the cer certain people oh that was bad example but certain people would be able to like nap you know you go off here and you can navigate like on the tree line like, that's a hard fall, I know, but you could try and heal. Like, you could be over here defending your base with your arrows or running around on top of, like, you know, the goddamn mushrooms. Ooh, like that. Probably should have. I don't know. But, yeah. Continuing updates will be given. And that's really all. Okay. Thank you, guys. This has been Cuddles. See ya.